Sheriff's Deputy. Welcome to KCAL News at 8, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Susie Sa. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday evening. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Our top story, the extent of damage and loss of life is just now coming into light in Hawaii. The death toll has climbed to 67. Uh, parts of paradise now unrecognizable as many residents have been allowed to return to homes that were burned to the ground. Tonight, KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen is in Maui with the latest for us. Jeff. Susie and Jeff, this is Maui High School, and this is one of the major evacuation centers near the airport here in Maui. And throughout the day, I'm going to step aside because I want to show you there's been a steady stream of cars and people walking up to drop off their donations. Friday's sunrise over Maui conceals the devastation from Hawaii's worst natural disaster in decades. All around, damaged and destroyed buildings, homes and cars are too numerous to count. Hawaii's governor spoke as he toured the area. This is devastating for Maui. We probably have well over a thousand buildings that have been destroyed. Many, many hundreds of families have been displaced. This couple fled their home as the fires hit. Days later, they returned to a pile of smoking rubble. Nobody really knows until they can make it in here whether their houses are standing or not. The death toll is expected to keep rising as search teams scour the island, especially in the hardest hit town of Lahaina. There's still people missing. Some residents say they received little or no warning. I realized when it was time to go when the smoke was so dark, we could not see anything outside. Burbank, California resident Lori Stedman and her family were ordered to evacuate their Maui hotel when fire ripped through the area. It's been kind of scary and just kind of uh, devastating. We got to see the fires from our balcony. In this time of crisis, Hawaiians are pulling together to help each other. This Mormon church is providing shelter to about 200 people most of them tourists who escaped Lahaina. On the mainland, this nonprofit in Santa Barbara sent supplies, including 300 personal care kits. It's a little overwhelming. And Maui resident Oprah Winfrey dropped off pillows, shampoo, and other items for evacuees staying at a gymnasium. And back here live, you can see Red Cross workers playing with uh, bubble making machines with children to kind of help them deal with uh, some of the trauma that is out here right now. But certainly a very steady flow throughout the day of people dropping off donations here. We should tell you that the president of the church that we visited earlier, he told us that the majority of the evacuees at the church are people who ran for their lives from Lahaina. Right now, the focus is to get tourists to be able to go home so that all of the work that is being done here can focus on the locals. Jeff and Susie, we'll send it back to you. Jeff Nguyen tonight live from Maui. Appreciate that, Jeff. As you just touched on here, residents are.